So we're going to play with what I'm calling the blockchain game. It's just meant to be a little tool for thinking through how blockchain works in a very simplistic way. And I, I do know this is very simplistic. So the, the game is actually done in a classroom and you don't allow people to get calculators. They have to do it in their head. And I'll get to what I mean by that. So they're given a bit of paper or a post-it note and they have to divide that post-it note up or that paper into three columns. One called prev, one called data, one called hash. And prev means is to do with previous hash. So the idea of this is that they would put some data in. The data then gets used with the previous hash to generate a new hash. But because they're having to do it by hand, they're doing the proof of work idea. And what you can do in the class is that the, the group that gets it first gets some kind of credit. Okay, so the first thing they have to do is put in the genesis bit, which is just to say no pre zero as a previous hash. Then I'm going to put in uh, 55. They go through the process and they end up with 1, 2, 120. Okay, but they've had to do it by hand, so they're slowing it down. And what you can do, and the idea with it, is that you could have some groups that have a group of five, six people, some groups that just have one, two, and so on. And you can try and play with any idea of what happens if you have more people calculating this at the same time. Does it improve the chance, and so on. So that then goes to 120 gets put in here. Let's try 67 as the data. Go through there, they do the calculation. Get a number like that. This hash becomes the previous hash. So we've got the elements here of a blockchain. We have the previous hash, the data, and a hash. And we can think of the hash as the identifier. And then we can put in 84, go through, get 1, 3, 8, 5. I'm only doing this because I know I've already done the calculations. But they would expect them to take some time doing this. Again, we put 1, 3, 8, 5 in there. Put in some new data. So what they've built up is the winning group individual get some scoring. And we've got a blockchain here with the data in, stored within it. That's this, just this very simple idea. And then we carry on. Let's put in... 45. Because we've got this competitive thing and because we're making it harder for them to do the calculation, you know, it slows the process down. You can have a discussion oops, around what that means. Okay, so that's the main bit. The rest of it, well, what we can then do is what happens if we change this. Well, that would change to 1785. Again, I've, I've already done the calculation, so I know what the number should be. What that means is the hash and the previous hash for this aren't the same. We know we've got a break in the blockchain. We know we've got a problem. 
And you can discuss the idea of uh, consensual. So they must. You can first one to get the right answer is the winner, but others must come up with a similar answer to for it to actually be added to the blockchain. So this is essentially our blockchain here. And then you can start playing around with well, they can just start to start to improve it. Yeah, you know, this is actually not a very hard hash. So what would you do to improve it? Play around with ideas of can we do something with the numbers here that mean they must meet a certain pattern to be included, all those kind of ideas.